Hello friends, Joe here, and today is an exciting day at Reverb.com. We get to check out this all-new Sola Sound Tone Bender Mark IV Fuzz, a Reverb exclusive. DAM has other tone benders to offer, but there are only 50 in this orange with the rare transistors. This tone bender, aka the Orange Monster, is produced in the UK by DAM and is an authentic replication of the original mighty Mark IV tone bender. For those of you who don't know, the Mark IV, as well as the other models, Marks 1, 2, and 3, super iconic fuzz pedals used by uh, Jimmy Page and the Beatles and Eric Clapton. Uh, and there's even a photo of Sid Barrett using one at a show, and it's not even plugged in. Sporting a super handsome 1970s Sola Sound decor and housing, it's kind of difficult to even grasp the iconic nature of the tone bender. I mean, along with maybe a couple of other fuzz pedals, maybe the Dallas Arbiter Fuzz or the Big Muff, these pedals set the classic standard for what a fuzz circuit should sound like, what a fuzz pedal could do, how a rock and roll player could use this sound in their, in their setup. I really do feel that energy too coming out of this pedal. I, when I plugged it in for the first time, I really lit up. Okay, let's dive in and hear this orange monster roar. As this is an accurate representation of the original, this fuzz knob is wired in reverse. So when you see me turning that, keep that in mind. <laughs> A couple of subtle alterations sonically to this pedal here. If you're all the way on the treble side, on the tone knob, it's a little less shrill than the original. And also on the volume knob, there's just gonna be a gentle lift in, in overall output from that. This is all in an effort to make it a more flexible pedal for modern use. But this is feel-wise, look-wise, and sonically, definitely a vintage fuzz box, all the way down to the OC75 germanium transistors it sounds awesome, it feels awesome, and the rarity of those probably lends itself to why they stopped making these and why there's only 50 of them now. Let's play around with this tone. This is a Nash Strat. These pickups are actually wired in reverse, by the way, just so you know. It works cool with, with volume control on your guitar. It's a little spitty, but it's still kind of a cool effect for some chords, especially some low stuff. I got EQ maybe about right up the middle right now. to the bass side of things here on the EQ. Shout out 
my volume control works with the fuzz all the way cranked. That was fuzz all the way to the right, by the way, which means all the way down or the lowest fuzz setting. Volume about halfway right now. Great pedal to try to sound like Clapton with. To try. So the Beatles liked this pedal. And that tone there is with the EQ all the way on the treble side. For those of you bass players looking for this thing to get some more modern stuff, try that out. Push, push some more bass in there and see what happens. That was also the fuzz on just about the lowest setting. Let's pull a little more fuzz in too. There you have it folks, super exciting. The Solar Sound replication of the Mark IV tone bender made by DAM in the UK. This is a reverb exclusive. There are only 50 on the site, so check it out like right now. Uh, if I buy this one, that means there are only 49. Or if I buy two, there are 48. You get the drift. So check them out and yeah, light up your day with the Solar Sound Mark IV tone bender fuzz. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching reverb.com.